JC Smith here at the front office news. I'm going to Cincinnati. The big thing right now is Georgia Oka just got released by the Bengals a few days ago, um, saving them $5.3 million in cash space, etc. etc. cetera. Et cetera. Um, what I'm going to touch on this situation is because this just proves one point about the NFL that your contract is written on toilet paper. Loose, wet toilet paper. So that's why when people get guaranteed money, that's what it's all about, man. Because situations like this happen. Ioka, uh, felt like he might, was he hurt? I don't know if he was hurt or not. Uh, but he just signed a deal what, two years ago. Three years ago, he got two years of it. Five years, $30 million. And he only saw two years of it. Two and whatever, how long he's been, whenever the football season starts um, of the deal. So you think about it. That's at least, depending on how much he got up front, probably miss out on half of the deal and that just shows why people fight for so much people stand out sit out um, why they fight for so much guaranteed money because if you don't situations like Ioka like where he's still a very good player somebody's probably gonna sign him he'll probably he probably won't recoup what he was gonna lose possibly but he's probably gonna play on a one-year deal and take a nice pay cut um, to make this happen but because they drafted a guy in the second round um, we'll say Jimmy Bates I don't think that's right that's his name uh, who's performing very well. Um, they feel like the upside was to save the money, which happens, I mean, it's, it's a part of business. But on the player side, you have to be very pro yourself because anything can happen, man. Like, Ioka is a very good player, and because they want to save money, and he's young, he's not even 30 years old, I want to say he's 27, 28? So he's still in his prime. Um, so, I mean, it just can happen, you know what I mean? Just because he didn't get it all, you know, as much guaranteed as possible so um so that's just that's the thing man um i mean he's a good he was a good locker room guy just from all the people that you know been tweeting out and, and all the media the local media um but it's just interesting man it just shows that you must get the guaranteed money so just let me know your thoughts about the situation i just feel like um it just shows what the nfl is man like you, you you're never protected unless you got guaranteed money so let me know your thoughts. Do you think this is the right move for the Bengals to do to release him? Or do you think it's a bad move for their team and for their cap? So uh, just let me know. Give me your thoughts. I'm JT Smith and I'm signing out.